everybody. 47 Mark 4 here, back with another episode of Skyopolis 4. All right, so we've got to talk about last episode, uh, especially these things right here. So, you know, the uh, 16 setup that I had set over here-ish, uh, you know, it worked. It worked really well. It made a couple of thousand of the, uh, of the blank singularities, and then it locked up the world. And, uh, you know, I still don't fully understand it, but somehow a wrong item got onto one of the pedestals. And if you have the incorrect recipe with the 16 pedestal arrangement, it immediately freezes the world. So it's, you know, whatever it was, it was a uh, blank ore and then some radiance and then it was blank tokens. So if I had like one extra radiance and not enough blank tokens, when I put my 16th item on, that was it. Zero frames per second. And I actually lost this world, uh, and thankfully, FTB backs it up, and I back it up as well. So uh, I had to recover from a backup and rebuild everything since the last backup. But everything's kind of back the way it was. I've done, obviously, a little bit of work since the last episode. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to be building the 16 anymore. It's, it's, I've, I've lost this world and two test worlds to it. Uh, so it's definitely a bug. The pack dev knows about it. I sent him videos. He's going to update the recipe for a blank singularity. Uh, so I expect it'll be on the eight pedestal arrangement. Now, I don't know that for a fact, but if 16 is a problem, and I can tell you that eights are not a problem. Obviously, I've got all these guys set up here. Uh, so it would make sense to go to an eight. So if you're going to build what I built last episode, don't do it. Don't. You're going to lose your world. Make sure you back up. Right, FTB backs up uh, for you quite a bit. So, there we go. There's my backup sign. All right, let's let's uh, let's look in the chest. Okay, so blank singularity. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm taking a mulligan on this one. I have given myself, out of creative, enough blank singularities. Uh, right, blank, uh, blank singularities. So I've given myself enough to get done uh, with the pack, and I have put in these drawers I've exported from the system, uh, the materials that it would have cost me to get all of the blank singularities. Now, I've already used a whole bunch, but I've still got some more to go. As you can see on this side here, my pedestal crafting is down to just about nothing. I've got, uh, I've got singularities, right? I've got a whole bunch of singularities already done. So it's really three and a half left to go. So here's what we're going to do. I, I want to be fair, right? But I, do, I don't want to lose the world, and I can't afford to wait for whenever the next pack update comes out. So we're going to take these three drawers worth of stuff, and this is what it was calculated on the wall. So it was uh, it was right here. There's the refined radiance. There's all the blank tokens. And then the extra, uh, not catalyst, the extra blank ore between 75,000 and 69,000, right? So we're going to take all those, and we're going to deposit them into the void, right? I have now paid for my blank tokens. I want to be as fair as possible. So hopefully you don't have a problem with me taking this mulligan. I just, I spent so long trying to recover this world, right? We don't want to lose it at the very end of the series. I'm looking forward to a uh, world download for everybody soon. All right, so we got that, right? That's that. That says, oh yeah, blank token. So uh, I had to redo the process down here and I just, I just let this guy go until I got enough. Right, so there's no detector because you know I could put a detector down here for seventy thousand, but we were spitting them upstairs just about as fast as you know it was making them. So it wasn't going to get seventy thousand until this guy had done all of its job, right? And by the way, how do you like my chisel and bits cover? Right, half carpet, half glass. I think that looks really nice. So you know we uh, we stomped them all down. I did make all the blank ore, and I did stomp all those guys down, uh, you know, for the drawers. So that's all done. Right, I got that one, I got that one. Oh, nether stars. So, you know, I did not look carefully enough at how many nether stars we were going to need. Uh, let's take a look here. So, nether stars, right? So, it was nether stars and nether star blocks. And if I look in here for nether stars, I have not finished my singularities. I, I ran 178 and then I, uh, you know, I ran out. So, I've had to take some extreme action. So over here, hey, look, our, our Wither Spawner has a friend, right? I doubled him up, and I actually played with having this thing do like a double pulse, like build one and then build another. So there's actually two inside the shield box here, but it doesn't really work because the Wither's justified over here, 
Uh, I'd have to tear the whole thing down and try to get horizontally stacked withers and somehow make an arrangement that the bottom one goes, but then it would immediately stand up, right? And it would be in the way of the next one. Like, it's really complicated with this kind of system to spawn multiple. So I just made another one, right? I just copied it. Uh, and, you know, for the moment, for ambiance, let's... Uh, Yep, there we go. Let's turn them on. So they're both exactly the same. Like I did a copy of one to the other just to make sure I was getting all the settings right. And the funny part is this one over here is slower. Well, now they're going to be the same speed, but it's generally it was slower. I actually had to put extra blocks in here uh, to make sure that this guy was dead before the next one spawned. So it's just a taste behind. However... That was not enough. That is not enough for what we need to get done. So I've got a, another one over here. Uh, and let me, uh, let's turn the shield off here. Oh yeah, I gotta switch the wrench. Hold on. I gotta be standing for this to happen. There we go, there's the wrench. Let's turn this guy off. So this one's kind of a problem. So the problem with the, uh, with the spawner, with the wither is this is not an unbreakable block. So then the wither spawns right on top of it. And when he blows up or he shoots his skulls, he bursts this blocks and, you know, then escapes right out of the bottom. So I had to modify the cage here a little bit. Uh, let's get these guys. So I added an extra layer of floor. So that thing has a shield and the wither kind of spawns half in the floor and half not. It actually works out pretty nicely. So I've got the same cube as those over there, and I've got it set to that same invisible texture, because, you know, I likes it, right? And then I've got myself a whole bunch of uh, matter beamers. So I've actually got uh, eight matter beamers over here, right? It's just you can't see the top two. So the bottom three, or the bottom two, this guy's nether stars, this guy's soul sand, and these three and those three are all food. And I can see how I'm doing here on... You know, with the uh, with the spawner block, with the what are these things called? Machine information modules. So I've got 29 Nether Stars loaded in there. I have 164 Soul Sand, and if we take a look, right? We take a look here. It only requires 0.1 per wither and 0.5, but it also takes 100 food. And this is it doesn't tell you, but this is an infused spawner. So I infused everything to try to make this as cheap as possible to run. And what I've done here is everybody's blasting out a different food. And I'm sorry that the text is so weird. This is why I haven't been using these blocks this series, because there's a Z fighting problem. I think that's what they call it, where the text is all flashy. And it really irritates me to no end. There's nothing I can do about it. There's an open bug report with the mod. But I kind of, let's, let's see if we can kind of get into a spot. No, maybe, maybe, hold on, uh. I just, I, I just can't find the right spot to get where we can see them all, right? So we'll, we'll be back here just a little bit because it's clearer back here. So I've still got 37,000 berries and 43,000 carrots and potatoes, and we've got nether wart and um, uh, sugarcane and wheat. And so what we can do here, I've got a whole bunch of switches to turn things on. The beamers are weird. If you put a lever, it activates its neighbors, it's just the way the redstone in these blocks work. So if I want to turn on soul sand and nether stars, I can hit this one and it turns, you can see it. it. Well, it's hard to see the color change, but it just turned these two blocks on and it's filling that up. Now, I need a lot more soul sand, actually five times as much soul sand as I do for nether stars so I can hit this one and it turns on one food and the soul sand. So it'll allow me to fill up here. And then these guys are actually in the middle of, there's there's three, because there's another one. Oh, hey, Wither. Right, because there's another layer right here at the top that you can't see behind the lamps. So doing, doing that turns on all six. And now it's really going, right? And these guys are going to spawn as every time it gets 100 food. So I got two in there right now, right? And it just killed that guy. And here's another one. Right, so we're really cranking down the withers. If I actually let this build up on food for a while, I had like, I don't know, like 20 withers in there earlier. So, okay, all right, we don't, we don't, need, we don't need all your violence for the whole episode, right? And let's turn this off, but I've been cranking these guys out as fast as possible. I'm going to end up running myself out of food uh, to be able to make enough nether stars to get through everything. So we need the nether stars here. We need, uh, we need nether stars for, 
Let's see. We need Nether Stars for Ender Stars, and Ender Stars are its own block, so I need 10,000, roughly, uh, Ender Stars to be able to do this. And then Ender Stars, again, are used for enhanced Ender Ingots, and so I need another 10,000 there uh, to be able to make enough, right? Because it's only the uh, enhanced Ender uh, is only a one per here. Enhanced. Uh, enhanced, right? So all of this garbage equals one ingot, so it's, yes. We we need, we need like 30,000 nether stars, or less now, actually. But I've gotten, uh, I've gotten quite a bit here. So let's see, I've got uh, 16,000 right now, and I'll get more. I'm gonna let it just run overnight and beam everything I can into it. So nether stars was a problem, and so was netherite. You know, I got too cocky early on, and I didn't realize, I didn't even realize that I was gonna have another need until I watched the episode back, and then I realized Ultimate Catalyst. So when we were looking at uh, the compressor, right? When we were looking at the compressor, I was focused right here about, oh, I need a thousand to make a singularity. But I didn't look right there at an Ultimate Catalyst. And it's easy to see what an Ultimate Catalyst cost. So Ultimate, right? Ultimate Catalyst, uh, now you're a component. Where's the Catalyst? Oh yeah, I got a whole bunch of these guys. So one of these, right, takes 16 black iron, 16 negative, right, uh, refined radiance, four black iron slates, and four luminescence. So I've gone into overtime on making luminescence and black iron. I don't know if the plates are still crushing down. I'm actually going to take the black iron plates and probably repurpose this guy over here to make a whole bunch of them. But netherite was a problem. So I've done a couple of things. I turned back on the nether mining operation and I doubled it in size. So I have 10 miners going on uh, all the time. I also have, uh, let's see, four digital miners and an RF tools quarry going right now, bringing me materials, right? I've got the regular mining process going on over there. Uh, for Batania, I, I turn this mining process on right here. Uh, you know, getting all the all the stuff I can, but I also let's come into the B dimension. I also tore down everything on the left hand side. Go back in your home. Go back in there. Go back in there. Yep, phase through the wall. I think this guy might actually no. Okay, there he goes. I was like, he might actually be outside. Uh, so I tore down everything that was on this side, all of the jail cells, and I put up netherite, wither, uh, redstone, netherite. Wither, wither, and wither. Because <laughs> I needed, I, we needed all that stuff. And we are cranking out the, uh, the honeycombs here. Let's see, you are all the other materials. Let's see if we got any over here. Right, wither, wither, uh, steel. Oh, there's the netherite right, right there coming in. Right, and we're doing pretty good. It seems that all the ones that are single purpose are actually cranking out pretty good. All these guys right here are multi-purpose. And I'm just not getting the production as much as I feel like I should. Maybe there's too many bees in there. <laughs> you know, I like to stuff them full, right? <laughs> so we've got all of these. I don't know what we're up to now. Uh, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus another twelve. We got twenty-four tier four apiaries going on. That should be enough. If not, I'm going to have to build another bee. So we got all of that going on. So that's all there. And redstone has been a thing. So we ran low on redstone because redstone is part of the uh, the chromatic compound, right? To make one of these chromatic compound, and I'm doing it this way. Is it one of these? Oh, it's to make the polished quartz, right? To make this rose quartz, it's nine per because I am not going to sand everything I need by hand, right? Even though this is a better deal. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. We're dropping them into the fluid, so it gets uh, it gets pricey real quick. But we're recovering, and we're recovering well with all of the mining operations going on. So that's all of that. We saw the bees, uh, Skybox. I always forget. I always forget to collect quests, right? So let's collect what we've got so far, and that took us uh, right here, right? So we've only got uh, this little bit. Oh, enhanced Ender. Why are you? Why are you not collected? Uh, hold on, enhanced, right? There we go, okay. Maybe maybe we just didn't do that last time. I still gotta make all the enhanced ender. That I'm, I just haven't done yet. So made, made, made. Uh, we're just about to collect this chapter. Okay, throw those in there. Let's look at our rewards. Rewards, what you got? 
Uh, energizing rod starters and a sky buck. Okay, not bad. And honeycombs, a blaze bee, some blaze cakes, and blaze uh, honeycombs. All right, very cool. I'll put the honeycombs away. Uh, you know, we're not really hurting for blaze items at the moment. The blaze cakes will actually be handy. Oh, come on, come on, get, get, get out of my inventory. Get out of my inventory. I can't, for some reason, I can't shift click them out. All right, get in there and I will deal with you later. Maybe we'll put up more stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's keep going. Oh, so let's get a couple of things going here. I want to show you the system here, uh, for the eight pedestalers, right, to get these guys going. So... I've got myself a little elevator right here that comes down to a platform, and it's just so I can start some of these guys going. So we're going to start with the quartz singularity. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wipe out all the things that were in there before, and we're going to tell it to keep stocked, right, these things. And the quartz one's a little more complicated uh, because it requires all of these pieces. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to say quartz singularities, right, uh, right there, right? You are the quartz. Yeah, you're the quartz singularity. I'm going to put it right in there, and so it's sticking everything in the chest. Uh, I'm going to come in here. Good practice is to turn things off when you're working on them, and we're going to go ahead and tell it. Block of quartz, uh, block of quartz, block of quartz, right, and block of quartz, and then we'll get the next four. So you're going to be smoky quartz, and you're going to be sunny quartz, and you're going to be mana quartz, Right, and the last one is going to be Blaze Quartz. And so that should be it. Uh, turn the channel back on. Right, that should be it. Uh, let's come back up here. And we can see that these guys are now on the table, and it'll auto-craft these special quartz that I need to be able to get the next one, and it'll stop at 243. So that's how that one's going to get done. Let's, uh, let's finish. Let's, uh, let's take this one over here. And let's set this guy up, so get rid of you guys. Four blocks of nether stars, four blocks of, or four nether stars, easy. And we're going to say stars, and we'll drag over the nether star singularity, because I have enough to finish it up now. And so it's, it's the same thing over and over again. So every time this guy runs out, uh, you know, I was changing it over to a new, uh, a new material to be able to be crafted. Right, it's just hard to make sure that you're uh, getting all the pedestals right. I don't know a faster way to do this than to just switch it on over. Did I turn the channel off? No, I did not. Oh, bad, Mark, bad. Am I going to pay a penalty for this? Uh, yes, I am actually. Yes, I am. Uh, is it because? Is it because it put the things where it shouldn't have put the things? Is that what's going on here? This, right? You are on. And we did say, uh, 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 that's naughty, right? We did say nether stars, nether star, nether star, blocks, block, oh, 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 because I grabbed the wrong block. That's why it's quartz. These are nether stars. They're just a little bit shinier. Uh, easily fixed. Okay, there we go. There we go. Got that. All right, so now you're going to finish up your nether stars. There we go. All right, put all this stuff away. And it'll finish off when it hits 243 on Nether Stars, or I run out of Nether Stars again, but I don't think I will. So that leaves me on this side. There, I'm finishing the Nether Star. That leaves me the Ender Star, the Enhanced Ender, and the Quartz. Oop, oop, oop. I hear activation. Oh, it's the Iron Golem. Oh, you walked out of range. You walked out of range. Well, I'll help you out, buddy. No problem. Right? No Iron Golems here. Thank you very much. All right. So that is that. We got all of that. All right, down here. So now let's go to the compressor side because we've got to do all of these materials in compressor. So let's, uh, let's go learn about this one. Uh, compressor. So I need a quantum compressor, and this is going to be... Oh, man, this is going to be a lot of stuff. I actually didn't prep this stuff. This is black iron, black iron, and three elite catalysts. Uh, okay, let's get elite... How bad are Elite Catalysts to make? Uh, okay, they're surprisingly not bad. I can already see that I'm going to need the Black Iron whatevers, right? I got two and a half thousand of them. Let's, uh, let's help ourselves out here in the future. And let's order another two and a half thousand to uh, start stomping down. All right, so we can get these. We can do this, right? Elite. Uh, three Elite Catalysts, and it was Black Iron... 
right? Uh, black, black iron, and I think it was like three of them and a block and a casing maybe, right? Let's uh, let's look at compressor here. So you are, oh, it was four of them, black iron block. Okay, all right, I was off by, uh, I'm off by one here. Okay, all right, well, you got extra. So that, that, and that, right? Something's not right here. Seven, eight, nine. No, 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 we're right, we're right, okay. So we can use another one of these. We'll use this guy over here. Oh, and by the way, these are just letting me know that it's still crafting. And that way, when I had all six running, I could look down the row, and if anybody was out, then I knew they were done, because some things required uh, a little bit of crafting to get done. All right, so let's see. We're going to say quantum compressors, and let's go 15, I want to say. Let's go 15. Uh, and we don't need... Uh, it, won't, it won't hurt me to leave this here. Yeah, it won't hurt me to leave that there. Okay, that, that. And this way I don't have to go get another one to put it back. That and this. All right, so then we'll come in here and again, turn off the channel. All right, so we're going to insert the frame into this guy. And then it's going to be the elite components. One, two, and three. Right, and then, uh, so let's see, one, two, three. And then it's this guy, and we'll get this block. And then it should be the bottom four. So we'll get that, and this, and this. Right, and then one more, and we've set it up. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, turn the channel back on. Turn the channel back on. And let's go up and take a look at this. And so you are doing your thing. So you're going to make 30 of these guys. No, you're going to make 15 of these guys automatically. And you're going to go ahead and craft those components as we need them. I actually want to see it, but sometimes, oh no, I was going to say it takes a minute. But there we go. And it should suck that off the table. It should, but it's not. Oh! All right. Very cool. Let's just modify the program here a little bit. Extract. Uh, oh, I had it blacklisted. Oh, no, I had it whitelisted. Okay. This one's different than all the others. All the others uh, were on the extract channel were just blacklisting the blank singularity. I don't know why this one's different. I must have uh, had a brain aneurysm there. All right. So that should suck that right off the table. All right. We've got the quantum compressor. Let's set this guy down and look at him because this is the part I need to know. So you require RF materials, right? Uh, well, this isn't that bad then. I can get this, uh, we can make a stack out of this. We can make a stack. Okay, so let's get our, let's get some parts here. Let's get a, a point. Oh, and some cable. Uh, cable, gonna need probably about this kind and that kind. Oh, and I have parts for this in the chest, right? I've got some importers, exporters, detectors, uh, I don't know what the blank token is for. I think this is garbage from something else, right? And we can uh, we can stack these dudes up. Oh, I don't know. We can stack them up. We can stack them up right here, right? Let's try to make it a little even-ish. Uh, so I'm going to stack you up there. And we're going to bring power in, and we'll do refined storage. I'm going to need to do two sides on refined storage. Do, 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 do. Right? And I guess we'll do power on the side. Doesn't really matter, but you know, trying to make it look a little nice. Uh, flex point power out, right? And we'll stack you up. And then we'll have to go get some cable right here. And uh, let's put that in spot. And then we'll come back and find it. Because I didn't want to go, I didn't want to go too far into the other process. I should have just dropped down. Up oh, there it is, right? There it is. And so, right there. Okay, very easy. You know, we could have just taken the elevator or put it there for a reason. So you're going to come up, and actually you're going to come... Uh, i got to get rid of the carpet at this level. Okay, so we're going to uh, import in the back, because why not, right? And we're going to export uh, over here. That should hopefully work as long as this thing takes these things. So let's, uh, let's test this out with the very first one. So lapis, okay? I'm going to need lapis, and lapis we're going to want to cram in there as fast as possible, and then we're going to need an ultimate catalyst, uh, ultimate catalyst, and let's go ahead and tell this thing, 
right? Let's whitelist. Uh, let's whitelist the lapis singularity. So right here on the importer, and import should be fine. Export should be three speeds and a stack, right? And then export those things and empty. No. Are you gonna make me put them in there by hand? Uh, eject. Okay, all right, hold on, hold the phone here. Hold the phone, give me these back. So it's doing, it's doing that, right? It's gonna be thing, limited, limited input. This is unlimited input. Oh, so that just wastes it when it doesn't have anything to do. Oh no, it actually stacked it up for the next one. Okay, and the way to get things back is extract but I can't put more than that one in there. Oh, we might need another export here. Uh, I want this one to get done so I can take a look at it and see what happens here, right? Because I'm a little afraid that if I have this going like that, that it's gonna take over the slot. Man, it's slow. We gotta do this 243 times. We might build 30 of these guys just so each one has one. Although the black iron cost is a thing. Right, okay, do it. Do it, there's the Lapis Singularity. And you're not gonna pull out? Really, Lapis, whitelist. Okay, all right, and that's in there. Okay, all right, I think this is, I think this is working. It's just getting that first little bit set up that is the problem, right? And so, compressor, uh, okay, somehow I have more than we anticipated for. Right, it was, uh, it kept going, it's still going. How many of these did we set? Let's uh, let's look at it, I mean, I'm not sad about it. Uh, right over here, when I have less than 15. Right, uh, okay, let's, let's stop that. Uh, I don't know why it kept going, and why it's still going now. What is going on here? Is this guy not set for redstone? Only work with redstone signal. Okay, all right, it just took the last set that was in the box. All right, whatever, we're gonna have extras. Uh, again, not sad about it. Now, here's the question. Can I, can I stack them up, right? Is that gonna bother this one? It totally looks like, oh. Oh, no, that is bothering it. It is bothering it. Arr. Oh, I don't like this at all. Hold on a second. It lives, it lives! Look at my tower. Look at how big it is, ah, oh, yeah. Oh man, so this is only 15 of them right here. We're gonna set this whole thing up twice, but this is as much as I cared to stack up. So what it looks like is if I put an importer, no, if I put an exporter here on the front and I gave it a regulator and a crafting and told it to hold, uh, hold one and put the catalyst in place, this is so much faster than this that it ends up sticking the lapis in the right spot, leaving the catalyst only to go there. So. This is generally working uh, on all of these. So let's go get some things going here. Uh, and we'll get them as we go along here. So we're gonna get nickel. Uh, let's see, aluminum. I refuse to say it the other way because I can see in the pack that it was spelled, no, it's spelled aluminum. Ha! In other places it's spelled differently. It's spelled wrong in <laughs> immersive engineering. Uh, let's see, iron and gold. That'll get me some hate right there. <laughs> uh, iron, gold, okay, we got those. Right, uh, constantan, coal, and steel. Uh, let's see, constantan, right, coal, and we'll, we'll stop it right here. Uh, I'll do the rest uh, off second, or off camera in just a second, but at least uh, show you these. So, let's see, can we go singularities, right? This might uh, help us, it might hurt us. So, let's go right here, let's go uh, doesn't the order doesn't really matter. So coal, you're biotite, so you're coal. Uh, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab coal and I'm going to say that, and there goes coal, right? And you're starting to make your thing, okay? And we're going to say steel, and we'll come over here, and steel should be about here-ish. Steel, thank you, and that'll be doing its thing. Uh, nickel, and we'll grab nickel. Let's see, nickel right there. Man, that's actually, this is actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Aluminum, uh, and aluminum should be up here at the front. It is, 
All right. Next one is uh, Iron. And Iron should be over here somewhere. Right. Okay. This is working out. Gold. Uh, and gold. Gold is the gold colored one. You can tell because it's gold. Right. And then. Uh, didn't we already do Constantan? Maybe it's uh, maybe I'm just thinking of something here. Copper, Constantan. Right, so I just need to do a couple of more, but this generally should be working for all these materials. Okay, so there we go, got them all done. We are on the wall. We've done rows one, two, three, four, and five right here. So we're down, we're, we've done to here. So I've got, uh, yeah, I've got five more to go. Right, but the funniest one here is cheese. And so uh, I had to go take the drawer that's, that was underneath uh, this setup over here and go put it on the drawer network. So we have 195,000 blocks of cheese. And instead of taking all of that out, because I don't think a compacting drawer can uh, change it over. So I just made a refined storage recipe for it to do it. But this, uh, yeah, no, this is gonna work. So when those things turn off, uh, let's just look, singularities. So Lapis is already at 22. So this will take an hour or two and then I'll change them all over. And hopefully if we've got all these materials, this part will be done and then we'll just have to work on this part. All right, uh, let's see if we can get one more thing done. Uh, I probably ran way out of time, but let's see if we can get it done anyway. So uh, we're gonna knock off one of, the, uh, one of the things to do. So somewhere around here, oh yeah, over here. Somewhere around here, I have a cobblestone platform and I've been saving this for this project right here. So we need to continue getting all of our quests done. Oh, we probably should collect. Oh, I got a loot chest. Uh, hold on, loot chest. And we got pipes, pipes, and pipes, and more pipes. Good loot chest, actually. I'll, uh, I'll totally take that. And we'll drop all of that in the system. Okay, so one of the things that we need to get uh, in Earn Those Sky Bucks is this right here, a wrapped. So a wrapped is a, uh, I wanna say it's a quark mob. And so what a wrapped is, it's a zombie that spawns on cobblestone. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have a little bit of safety here. And we're gonna make this uh, the receiver. And we're gonna put this over here. Oh, I don't need, I don't need that little bit of slime. Right, we're gonna put this over here and frequency and leveroni, right? And you're gonna go ahead. Oh, we probably should have put them up a little bit higher. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. I might have to move the spawner. Are any of you, are any of you a rat? Uh, I don't see any of you that are rat. Hold on, let's just, uh, let's go for massive mob kills. Okay, all right, my bad. I didn't read close enough. It's not cobblestone, it's a uh, cobstone, right? Cobstone, so it is this one right here. Cobbed stone from Quark. And you get this with a regular uh, cobblestone generator. So I set one up real quick and sure enough, here it is, right? And we only need a little bit. So we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna go ahead and say surface uh, and I'm gonna increase the range. And let's see if we can get some around this spawner. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work for me, right? We just need, we just need a couple, right? And by the way, it's the middle of the night. I just turned on night vision, so. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and turn this on again. Get zombie Orama. There they are, I can see them. Okay, hold on, hold on, let's turn this off. Let's get, uh, let's get the sword here. There they are right there, there's the rat. Right, done, done, mission complete. Now the rest of them, uh, they can just sit there for all I can care about. And this guy, we can turn it off. Okay, all right, zombie growling. Right, there's nothing, I guess I could mine out the platform from underneath them. Right, give some of them a uh, quick death here. <laughs> so much rotten flesh. But there we go, we got another quest done. We're even closer to the finish. So there's that one. We're down to, I think, literally just getting a baby stray and, oh, a silverfish. Uh, I gotta think about the silverfish. I'm not sure where to get that one yet. But I'm gonna call it here for today. So I'm 47 Mark 4, and this is Skyopolis 4. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know, if you did, uh, hit that like button, and then I will see you in the next episode. Boy.